And we're now joined on the phone by second place finisher in Friday's General Tire hashtag Anywhere as Possible 200, Riley Herbst. Riley, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. So just talk us through that race on Friday. It looked like for a while you had that thing running away, and then it kind of fell apart there at the end. So just talk us through your day. Yeah, man. Um, so qualifying got canceled, so our uh, – Starting position was started on practice speed, so um, we started second uh, from the practice speed, and I knew that was a good spot to start in front row. Um, Harrison really had a fast car too in practice, so I thought it was going to be racing him a lot of the day, but uh, we were able to clear him quickly um, out of turn one and set sail for the first 65 laps. Um, just dominating the race, as you said, almost had like a 20 second lead at some points. Um, but we just got behind on adjustments there. Uh, you can't get uh, satisfied with your car, and I wanted more out of it. I wanted a lap lead instead of 20 seconds. So um, I, I had the guys adjust on the race car a little bit. Um, I, was, I was a little too tight that first stage. So um, they freed me up and uh, we jumped the fence on the uh, balance there. So we were too free. Um, and then the 22 short pitted us, um, which, which, which is a bummer, but very smart move on their part. So uh, they forced our hand and came in before us, put pressure tires on and uh, passed me. Technically, when I was in the pit, because they had fresher tires and could make better lap time. And when we came out, um, I was about like a half second behind them, and I just um, got too tight with the two tires, and I couldn't get by them. And uh, just a frustrating day, but um, on the bright side, it's pretty good because just how good of a car we had. It seems like that 18 car between you and Ty may be the most unlucky car in the Arca garage this season. I. I don't know off the top of my head how many second place finishes that is, but and a, and a lot of those races you guys probably should have won. Is that just bad luck or bad execution, or what exactly is uh, the reason for all the second place finishes? Man, I wish I could find out. Um, I've been telling everybody we have all the pieces for the puzzle. We just need to put them together. Um, I would say some of them. I can't really talk on Ty's behalf, but on my behalf, um, bad execution, um, maybe a little bit. Um, two days ago at Pocono, like I said, I've just been a little bit more complacent with my car instead of being greedy about it. So that was bad execution on my part. And Charlotte, um, I didn't execute, like I said in my interview on TV, I didn't execute and do my part. So that was bad execution. And um, Ty had some look away as well. So I don't know. It's kind of a good thing if you're disappointed when you have all these second place finishes. But um, once we get this one third place finish for the most of us, both of us, um, they're going to come and in boatloads, so I'm really looking forward to that. So let's look ahead now to Michigan this weekend. You're pulling a double header this weekend between ARCA and Xfinity, so give us a little preview of that. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I know that my 18 ARCA car is going to be really fast, uh, like it was this last weekend at Pocono. And um, I know the guys over the Xfinity shop will have that 18 car tuned up and um, can go out there and work as much as I can, um, try to get better. Uh, than I was the lap before, and I uh, just try to get all the experience I can, and I'm really looking forward to it. All right. Well, Riley Herbst, your second place finisher in Friday's ARCA race from Pocono. Riley, good run out there, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.